Concrete masonry units, commonly known as concrete blocks or cinder blocks by some, are an essential component of modern masonry construction. We usually call them CMU for short. Let's learn about how they're made. In this animation, we can see the beginnings of a machine that manufactures multiple types of concrete block, concrete and masonry units. These units can have different shapes. That is, the mold within the machine can be changed to produce a variety of concrete masonry unit uh, components. The process starts with a set of hoppers and a silo that contained the raw materials. These hoppers allow the, the operator to introduce crushed stone and sand into the mixing process. And the blue silo you see in the background will hold Portland cement. That is the gray fine powder that we mix with water to glue everything together. So these hoppers are fed typically by front-end loaders retrieving material from stockpiles on the site and then charging those bins and keeping them ready to go. Because this, mach this machinery system has automated controls, when the controls call for more material to come through the system, gates and feeder belts on the hoppers introduce material into the system via this hopper here, which feeds into what we call a skip. A skip is simply a bin on an elevator hoist. You can see the skip rising here to where it discharges all the raw materials into a mixer. This type of mixer then drops material out the bottom, fully mixed, that runs up the conveyor into the top of the block molding machine. Now, from the top of the machine, the material flows down into what we call a charging box. That charging box uh, remixes the material a little bit, and as it slides back and forth in each cycle of operation, it drops material into the mold below it. How does that work? Well, this box, a portion of it, is bottomless. So as it slides over the top of the mold, the material in the box drops into the mold. Let's take another look at this and you'll see how it works. Here you can see the box sliding forward and then notice now as it retreats in the blue uh, platform you see here, you can see some gray outlines. Well, those are the outlines of the concrete masonry units being molded. Now at this point, the material in there is uh, loose. It's been vibrated a little bit, but how do we really make it strong? Well, the first thing we do to do that is compact it heavily with this, this heavy head. Now, uh, it, it produces a great deal of down pressure, and notice that as soon as we compacted that, the mold actually rose up off of the blocks. There are several blocks that get formed all at one time. Well, these blocks already have their final shape, and the concrete was only mixed just a few seconds ago. How does this work? Well, the mixture uh, of the concrete, which is Portland cement, water, stone, and sand, and maybe a few chemical and color additives, has so little water in it that it will not flow like you see with ready-mix concrete. So it has to be compacted into these molds. And it is compacted enough that, the, uh, that it holds its shape as the mold is withdrawn from the blocks. So how is it going to get strong? Well, from this point on, the blocks, having come out of the machine, are experiencing a reaction between the water and the Portland cement we call hydration. That reaction then creates new compounds over the next several hours that makes the block strong. 
So as these blocks come out of this machine, they are typically stacked up on their own pallets. The pallets form the underside of the molding process, don't they? Well, from here, the, usually we have automated processes in modern uh, plants that will move these materials into the next phase in a curing room. Let's see what that looks like. Here is some real world footage. You can see when we start from the material storage yard, the material goes from there into the hoppers as we described. Here you can see an actual plant in operation. The skip is descending uh, to take on a new load of material. Here you can see the various materials in the hoppers. And the gates operate here automatically to feed material onto a running conveyor belt. Here you can see stone coming into the skip followed by sand and that will all get mixed in the mixer. The mixer in this case is a slightly different style. Here you can see the skip ascending and then immediately dumping its load. This is all an automated process. This uh, counter rotating shaft mixer is the kind you'll see commonly here in the United States. When the material leaves there, it goes up the, up the belt, up to the top of the molding machine, and then here it will get uh, dropped into this large machine which runs automatically, repeating the same cycle over and over. Now, I want you to notice here what's happening. Right now, this is the box, the charging box, filling the mold. The mold is the yellow part here. Okay. It retreats, we get a little bit of compaction and then some more vibration and then the final phase of compaction. Now watch what happens next. These large black rams are pushing the material down into the mold and the mold is going to rise off of the blocks. Okay, Here we see the mold rising, there you can see the blocks moving out. This is a very quick automated process over and over again producing many blocks per hour. You'll see here in just a moment there are several blocks on every little pallet for every cycle of this machine. Here they're producing uh, precast concrete curb blocks, the kind that we would use along the edge of a street or a parking lot. Now what's interesting about modern machinery or modern plants like this is the automated way in which we move all the material. As soon as those blocks leave the, the machine they get stacked and soon after they're stacked while they're still in their unhardened state they get loaded onto this finger car and the finger car will then move a large stack of these blocks in their soft state into what we call the curing room. And the curing room is a room that is usually around 130 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit and high humidity and in that room the curing process or the, the chemical reaction that makes the concrete hard takes place. So over a period of several hours these blocks gain strength and usually about 24 hours later the concrete blocks are ready to be retrieved by automated processes, uh, stacked, made, and put on pallets and then shipped to uh, the seller.